Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast. Buff by here again. Welcome back to NASCAR 2004. It was a interesting day out there in Sonoma, California. Robbie Gordon got it done and won the 09 Infineon race. So, we got a new points leader. It's Winston Cup champion Dale Earnhardt Jr. Kevin Harvick stumbles at Sonoma. Mark Martin moves to third. We're only six points shy of third, so we actually lose third place, even though we finished sixth. Uh, in third place in points, that is. But Dale Jr. Uh, had a stout day there. And uh, through the field here, I mean, it's getting pretty tight. Uh, we're seeing the real championship caliber cars. Jeff Gordon still somewhat with it. But one thing that's really interesting to me is the 2007 Winston Cup champion, Ryan Newman. Um, he's hanging in there. Don't count him out yet. He's still 10th place. Don't count him out. Anyway, so we're moving forward over here in the summer stretch of the season. Everyone's having a jolly good time. Uh, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. Love y'all, folks. Uh, so we got the Pepsi 400, Tropicana 400, and then we got New Hampshire. New Hampshire's an absolute crapshoot for us, so we needed bulk stock freaking points at Daytona in Chicago. So, anyways, it's a patriotic race. I gotta get a new paint scheme. I'll be right back. Alrighty, folks, brand new paint scheme. Now, this one, I'm going to call it the Desert Storm. So, yeah, we're going with a kind of a dusty uh, camouflage pattern. It's not perfect, but I want to do something different with this car, man. And I, when I seen that freaking Jerry Nadeau car at Sonoma, I was like, you know what? Let's do something like that. You know, I know it's, it's like apples to oranges, but... I think this thing just looks cool, man. It's kind of it's kind of got a faded camouflage pattern to it. Nothing too sharp and too perfect. It's just it's definitely got that rattle can camouflage look to it. Pretty cool stuff. I love that day glow, man. The day glow numbers. Ooh, this is gonna be a cool car, man. This is one of my favorite ones. Really reminds me of uh, Casey Mears' uh, uh, Charlotte win, but it's definitely different. So here we go, we got the Buffet Racing South Desert Storm race car here. This is pretty cool paint scheme here, if I do say it myself. Like, I'm pretty hyped about this. Um, I ain't worried about the team right now. Let's go check out what's going on in the garage here. So we got, so we're building that. So we need to repair some stuff. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, definitely chassis number 11 needs to go back through the ringer. So let's uh, go ahead and fix that. Get that done. Let's see. Well, we got the new power plant back, 82 power plant, so I guess we got to fix this one. Oh, 79 power plant. It's not the best one, but we're going to have to we're going to have to work with it, you know. We can't build this equipment all the time. Oh god, we got to get that 77 fixed. My god, we got to get that bumped up back. I mean, one or two performance points difference can make it can make and break whether your whether your car is going to win or not. It, it truly is that uh tight of a margin, but anyways, Huh, let's see. Well, we're going to Daytona. We don't have to really worry about all this, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the best, you know, bullet we got in the shop. I want to win this freaking race. Super Speedway. Oh, boy, man. We're bringing it. Oh, I love this paint scheme. Yo, this thing's freaking cool. Car rating of 81. Let's bring the Desert Storm Chevrolet to Daytona. Alrighty, folks. We qualified second for the 2009 Pepsi 400 at Daytona International Speedway. We got the patriotic paint scheme. Look, if I could win this race, I might make a die cast of it. That would be really something, man. I, tell you, I love this paint scheme, bro. I love this paint scheme. Let's go into the down track side uh, from Daytona. We'll be starting next to Earnhardt, folks. This is going to be fun. Tonight, it's Super Speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. To win a race is something pretty special at any track. But to win here at Daytona, you're that much closer to becoming a legend in the sport. The list of former winners here is very prestigious indeed. Who wouldn't want their name to be on it? Who knows, maybe we'll add another lucky driver when this one's all over. The 82 car has been getting into it heavily on the track with Kevin Harvick. NASCAR has been known to park guys who can't behave themselves on and off the track. I don't think we have that type of situation here, but everyone would be better off by just getting back to racing. 
Jimmy Johnson made his first three Winston Cup starts in 2001. In that same season, he scored his first victory in the NASCAR Bush Series and has been turning some heads ever since. In 2002, he was offered a full-time ride in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series by a partnership deal that involved Jeff Gordon as a car owner. I can't think of anyone I'd rather drive for. Top-notch experience and great equipment to go along with it. Coy Gibbs doesn't have a very good record when it comes to qualifying at the super speedways. Well, it could be worse. With the way these super speedway cars work, he may be really fast in the draft, but bad by himself. Now he just has to watch out for the big one and make his way up through the field. folks so we barely missed the pole Earnhardt gets it beautiful alternate paint schemes out and about tonight we've seen the, the the Ricky Craven ride beautiful alternate paint scheme obviously Ryan Newman supporting alternate paint scheme we are as well a lot of hot rides out tonight this is going to be fun so here we go the halfway point of the 2009 Winston Cup season you're defending champions on pole Gordon's right there behind trying to reclaim former glory Ryan Newman though seven champion we want to be a champion, folks. We got to go out here. We got to earn it, man. This is going to be fun. Oh, boy. Pepsi 400, Daytona, under the lights, green flag racing. Let's get it started from Daytona. All right. We want to control the pack. That is our goal today, folks. Go out there, lead as many laps as possible. We're, we're, we're 86 points out from Kevin Harvick's point lead. Any points we can lead tonight would help us. Come on, we're going to get into fourth gear. Come on, car, come on. There we go. Finally, we got into fourth gear. Dale Jr. is tucked up to our back bumper here, folks. Stack car action from Dade Sounder National Speedway. Here we go. This is going to be fun. So for Dale Hart Jr., I mean, he is going to do whatever it takes to try to win this race. He's your new points leader now. Uh, he just took it from Kevin Harvick after his um, eh run at Sonoma. But for us, we got to do what we got to do, man. We've got to go out here. Five points right there. And get this. The DEI horsepower is for real. Jeff Green uh, won Martinsville last year. Won the shootout. Uh, of course, this is a night race. Very similar to that. Uh, he won the shootout earlier this year. Jeff Green did. After we crashed out in an epic crash with Tony Stewart flying to the moon. Oh, uh, is that one car going to go to the outside? He sure is. Would his teammate go for him? Looks like his teammate has nowhere to go. Kurt Busch is in the mix now. Great pack racing here, folks. Daytona action. Looks like Bobby Labonte trying to create a third lane to the bottom. Here comes Jimmy Johnson boogie. And I want to try to get up to the top here. Ooh, contact between teammates here. Kevin Harvick way down there to the bottom trying to get some runs going. I mean, everyone's just trying to jockey for position here. Now, unlike our Thunder 2003 playthrough, uh, the 2004 career mode playthrough we do now, um, there's two pit stops in this race. Even though it's a 16-lap restrictor plate race, these smaller fuel cells force us to show our hand and pit a lot sooner than people think. Do not be surprised if we see pit stops on this lap or the next lap. We're going to have to make two stops. We don't know when, but we got to find a drafting partner. I... I don't want to work with Earnhardt. Here's why. I love Earnhardt, right? He's my favorite cat cheering for him, you know, my whole time growing up. But the problem is, is that he's your Winston Cup points leader. Oh, heck no, Dale. No. Heck no. I do not need you leading a lap, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to sign draft you. I'm going to sign draft you. I cannot give you that five extra bonus points, bro. This is points racing. This is the halfway point. Kurt Busch, you want to win this race? Go for it, man. I can't have Earnhardt win this race. I didn't take him out. I just slowed him up. Gotta do what you gotta do. I tell you what, man. I want to win this race in this paint scheme. This thing, I, I freaking love this car, bro. I'm not even gonna lie, man. I, I freaking love this paint scheme so much. One of my favorite ones we've been able to do. Very, very fortunate to have so many seasons on this playthrough. And I just, I just thank y'all so much for the continued support. Kevin Harvick's pitting there. I don't want to work with Kevin Harvick. 
How about that old one car over there? We might want to work with him tonight here at Daytona. Now, if we lead uh, a couple more laps, we'll actually have the most laps led already. Uh, that locked that up pretty well for us. Extra five bonus points for the Buffet Racing South Camp. Uh, looks like DI Horsepower is going to be second and third here. We're going to have to block a big run here. Junior's definitely going to work with that one car for a little bit, but will the pit stop separate them? They're all pitting here, so we got to pit. So it looks like all four of the top four are going to pit together. All Chevrolets, Gibbs, DI, and Buffet Racing South collectively going to make an organized pit stop here, folks. Come on, got to get a good pit stop here, folks. Don't speed, don't speed. Let it get down pit road very gradually to the speed line. That's what I want to see. Put four tires on it. Fill it up. I ain't doing nothing to tear up this car, man. I'm not going to go out there on two tires and spin out and lose this race. No, I'm going to go out there, put four on it, and go for it, man. I freaking love this paint scheme, though. I'm just going to be honest. I love this paint scheme. <laughs> I love it, man. It's just something about it. I don't know why. Something about it. So, anyways, what are we going to do for the last pit stop? I have no clue. I have no clue, but we got to we gotta go, go, go. Dang it. So now Bozo McGee is way out front. We're going to have to push Ward Button. I can't pass Ward. I'm going to have to push Ward back up to Earnhardt. And then they had a, a great pit stop. And they, they actually blocked us. Uh, oh, sorry, Kevin Harvick. I kind of blocked you there. Sorry, bud. All right, so we're going to be right behind uh, Ward. We're going to be in front of Bobby. Now, we already got separated from the leaders, and now we're going to have to just absolute bump draft this 22 Dodge. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Ward. We got to go, man. We got to go. We, oh, come on. He's a freaking rival, man. If you woe me up, bro, I'm going to go around you. Look, we got to go, man. This is freaking Daytona. Dead gummit. Now, we're, we're just gonna, the, the 22 car is just clearly not fast enough. I'm sorry, but the, he is just clearly not fast enough. So, we need to pass him. Look, we got to get back through this pack here, man. Got to do what we got to do. Down the bottom, hanging that left. Oh, God. If we can just clear this 22 car, that'd be pretty good right now. Got to get that run. Got to get that draft. Looks like the nose is pretty clean, so we should have good aerodynamics going down the bottom. Can't go below the yellow line. There we go. A little bit on the yellow line, but it's all good. Huge run. Finally got around him. Now, if we can get through these cars here, we can jump up to the next pack. Don't be surprised they pit within two laps. I'm just saying, these guys are going to pit soon. So, this is going to be the make or break moment for this 82 car. We're probably going to have to risk it, take two. See if we can try something contrarian to get this freaking W, man. I want to get a caution out here, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen, folks. Don't think that's in the cards. Well, we are. We got a fast car. We are. We are. Yeah, that's that's a word. We are uh, <laughs> gaining track position here, which is very nice. Bobby Labonte has got a really stout car, so if I wanted to work with him, that would be a good pick. Oh, heck no, Benson. I'm sailing it. He blocked. He blocked. I went for it. I was not lifting, bro. I was not lifting. Brad Keselowski, that thing. No lift, sir. Bob. At all, man. Going for it, man. Keep digging. Push an 82 car. Or, pfft, 82 car. You freaking idiot. 38 car. Pushing the... Pushing that car. Yeah, that number. That guy right there on the outside. That dude. Yeah, the Elliott Sadler... So we're around him. We're back up to eighth place. Looks like Dale Earnhardt Jr. And, uh, well, actually it's not Jr. It's Jeff Gordon and Jeff Green. It's a Jeff and Jeff show. And Jeff Green's got a shot to win a Daytona 400. How cool would that be? I think I might pit with these cats. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Look, the problem is we need someone to pit with and someone to freaking go for. I'm pitting. Screw it. I'm pitting. We're going to take two. We're going to risk it. No risk it. No biscuit. Oh, 
Give me left sides. Full tech of gas. Screw it. Let's go for it. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Knock on wood. Hope and pray to God. This is the money stop. Come on, team. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go, go. 9.5. I'll take it. Thank you. All right. So 9.5. Two tires on. Whoa, Martin. You're not getting around me, bud. All right. So this is a little bit risky. We're going to have... We actually do have a little bit of right front damage there, unfortunately. Probably from Johnny Benson. Let's see. Eh. Don't look too bad. I'm just going to go ahead and blend here. But, um... I don't think this is going to get us a win, unfortunately. You know, it's it just... That pit stop, we we got separated there, and that really did us in. Look at those back uh, straightaway grandstands, man. Those are so freaking cool, dude. Shame they tore those things down, because that was that was something, man. Anyways, how is this going to play out? Uh, we roughly had a five to six second uh, advantage on that pit stop there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone else is probably going to have 14, 15 second pit stops. Well, our pit stop was at this. 9.5 seconds. So we're going to get a lot of track position based on that alone. There's Bobby Labonte who we pitted right in front of. Um, we might actually blend right here at the perfect time. Look at that. Is that Dale Earnhardt Jr. there, folks? I think that might be. As my voice just croaked. There's Dale Jr. And there's Mr. Jeff Gordon. Now look. I'm not going to pass the 24 car, and here's why. There's no one out ahead. I need someone to draft with. If I pass the 24 car, we're, we're a sitting duck. I'm going to have to just absolute bump draft this 24 car. I mean, we're going to have to 09 Brad Gazelowski this thing if we have any shot to win in this race. I mean, we're going to have to just tandem draft like it's 2009. Hey, guess what? It is 2009, you idiot. All right, Jeff Gordon, I hope you got a wide bumper on that Monte Carlo because I'm freaking selling it. Jeff Green looking to win here at Daytona. Here comes Jeff Gordon, the DuPont Monte Carlo. He's going to get around the one car here. We're going to have a huge run. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Green. I want to see Green win this morning, freaking Jeff Gordon. Come on, man. Let's go catch that 24 car, bro. All right, Daytona, 400. Under the lights. Come on, Jeff Green. Let's go get him. Come on, buddy. Run that bottom. Run the bottom. No, run the bottom. Down here, man. We can do this. There's Johnny Benson. Crazy to think. I think he was a lap down. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Got to keep pushing this one car, bro. Got to keep pushing this one car. We're getting closer. This car's getting loose. That was the risk we took. Them, that Those tires are actually playing a factor, folks. Look, can we push Jeff Green around Jeff Gordon? This is going to get interesting, folks. Gordon has no help. What will Green do? We're right there. This is the battle for a Daytona under the lights super speedway win. And Jeff Green is going to the lead here. Look, I want to see Green win this race than I do Gordon. I'm sorry, bud. I'm competing for a championship. I'd rather see Green win this freaking race than Gordon. I like both of you, but I'm pushing that one car out front right now. Now, here we go. We got the guy out front that we wanted. We got the one car. But here we go. When do we make that move, man? Two to go. Caution ends the race. Now, here's my thinking. Break away from the 24 car. Get away from the 24. So when we make that move, we don't have to worry about 24. Break away. Break away. And then try to make that move for the win. It's Daytona, man. Very low fuel. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about that. But we got to find a way to get around this one car. 
Here we go. Jeff Green, Garanage, Daytona 400 mile event. Who is going to win it? Under the lights. Oh boy. Fuel tank almost empty. Oh god, man. This is going to be. Oh boy. This is going to get touchy. Everybody's pitting a second time here. Some guys, I mean, they ran out of gas, I'm guessing. So, it looks like we're going to run out the trial, so we need to get around them quick. All right, full throttle. Go for it. We got what we want. How are we out of gas already? You got to be kidding me. How are we out of gas already? Oh, my goodness. Heartbreak at Daytona. But for Jeff Green, a huge upset. You gotta be kidding. How would they run out of gas? Oh my gosh. That is incredible. That goes against everything I even knew about this game. Okay, so we went to the trial. It said fuel tank almost empty. That usually means you have one lap. So somehow that expedited the fuel. I'm guessing since we were running faster in the draft... Maybe it used up more fuel. I don't know. Dang it, man. And we're going to finish 28th. God dog it, man. But out of boy, Jeff Green. Congratulations. You just won the Pepsi 400. I don't even I don't even know how we lost that on fuel mileage, man. Wow. Caution lap was running the whole race. Get up as a driver. Dang. Well, I tell you what, though. We did everything we could. And, and, and you might be saying, oh, you should have passed him before then. No, here's why. If we would have passed him, we would have been using more fuel than we did. Right? We would have been out front trying to hold him off. I, I just think we were screwed there. I don't know how we... The only thing I could think of, the only possible way I could think this, this race went south for us is simply we just used too much fuel in the draft. I should have lifted more. Maybe... I don't know. I, I, I was trying to stay behind them, so I was lifting a little bit to set us up for that final lap run. I don't know, man. I have no clue how that went. That went to heck in a handbasket pretty quickly because it went to... Because what's so weird about it is that the fuel tank said very low fuel. And then after that, it should say fuel tank um, is almost empty or something like that. There's like one or two notifications you get. And each notification you usually get per lap. So if it says fuel tank very low, you probably got two laps maybe on board. Then it says, field tank almost empty. You have one lap to pit. I, I don't know how that happened, guys. Oh, boy. Uh, that, was a, that was a tough one to swallow, but you know what? It's going to happen. Uh, Ryan Newman, I talked about him being a championship uh, outside contender. Tough break right there. Last play, so that's good for him. <laughs> uh, but for us, not what we needed. We pushed Jeff Green to the win, though. That's pretty cool. I'm glad he won it over Gordon. Uh, but we're going to lose a lot of points to Harvick and them. Mike Bliss. Look, I talked crap about this dude. Not He, he couldn't finish in the top 40. Well, guess what? Top 10 run for that five crew. boy to them. That state's on it, man. Mm. We almost had it. And, um, yeah, we, we must have just... I, I guess we pitted too early. I don't know. That was tough. That was tough. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. The next episode is going to be at Chicago, which is a fun track. I uh, hope you'll uh, be, able to, be able to tune in for that one every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Diecast Buffet. You can tune in for more NASCAR Thunder content. And uh, make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of it. It's uh, Drama at Daytona. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a blessed one. Die Kiss Buffet, signing off.